The emotion starts right now on Mari. She's come here to reveal a secret to her very own sister. I've been thinking my fiance for a year. And it gets worse. I'm three months pregnant. Is Ray the father? It's a possible exit. Does your boyfriend know about it? He doesn't know yet. What will happen when her sister and then her boyfriend what? find out this unbelievable secret? Rochelle is trying to fight cancer. She's had a hundred surgeries. And she's here trying to find out if her boyfriend is secretly the father of her cousin's baby. I've been with Rochelle since she's had her cancer. I've been by her side. Nobody else me. You're very emotional about this. It's not my child. Why is she gonna come and tell me that she was with you if she wasn't with you? He says you didn't sleep together. Yeah. He's a liar. You know, there's another possible father. Derek yeah. wants to be the father, doesn't yes, he? Yes, he does, and everybody wants to be the father. Two men tested. Which man is this little girl's father? Derek, Ryan. <laughs> These guests say their secrets have to come out today. Oh, How do I get out of this place? Why? 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 An unforgettable hour of Mari starts now. This is Rochelle. Rochelle has been diagnosed with a rare form of cancer. Over the last year, she's had a hundred surgeries. Now, during this struggle, her boyfriend Ryan has been a complete disappointment. Michelle believes when she's in the hospital with all of her trouble, Ryan sleeps with other women in her own house. And by the way, not only random women, because recently Rochelle's cousin, Deanna, claimed she also slept with Ryan and that Ryan just could be the father of her baby. Whoa! This is what Brian had to say. Me and Rochelle have been through so much together. We've got three beautiful kids together. I've been with Rochelle since she's had her cancer and her hydrogen eyes, severed teeth and all that. I've been by her side, nobody else me. For her to say that I'll cheat on her while she's in the hospital having her treatments is really hurtful. Rochelle heard a rumor that I slept with her cousin Deanna and her kid Mackenzie might be mine. I'd never sleep with Deanna beyond Rochelle's back. I'm taking this lie detector test today to prove to Rochelle that I love her. When this paternity test comes back today and proves that I'm not the father, I want Deanna and everybody to leave us alone. Let us be a happy family. So, not only, by the way, have we given Ryan a lie detector test, we also gave her cousin, uh, Rochelle's cousin Deanna's baby, Mackenzie, a paternity test, and we're going to have those results. He sounded pretty convincing. He is pretty convincing. But all those tears? No. No. He wasn't crying when he was doing what he was doing. How did you... Maybe he wasn't doing it. Why, why would my cousin come up to me and tell me that she was with him if she was never with him? You go to the hospital like once a month, right? At least once a month. And, and you think that he's having sex in your house while you're gone? I think he has. What happens when you call him from the hospital? Sometimes he doesn't answer. First got diagnosed with cancer was when he was cheating with Deanna. What did you hear? What news did you hear a few weeks ago? Is that when you heard from Deanna? Yeah, she just admitted it to me. What did he say? He said it's not true. He never did it, and she's just trying to start. By the way, us. you know, there's another possible father of this baby. Yes. And his name is Derek. And Derek as well. And we gave him a paternity test. Here's Ryan. Ryan, come on out. <laughs> Sleep with her cousin. You're very emotional about this. Why don't you think you've been able to convince her? Is it because of her cousin? Well, it's just everything stems from the past. I mean... Do you ever sleep with her cousin, Deanna? No. No. Why do you say that to Rochelle? But the criminal relationships that she has, she can't even find anybody that wants to be with her. Why is she gonna come and tell me that she was with you if she wasn't with you? Bring when I had all my own suspicions stall. myself, how did her sweater get in your car? How did her sweater get in your car? Here's what Deanna had to say. Watch this.
Today I'm here to find out if my cousin Rochelle's boyfriend Ryan is the father of my one-year-old daughter Mackenzie. I know it was wrong to sleep with my cousin's boyfriend and I regret it and I feel bad about it every day. Ever since this came out, me and Rochelle are not as close as we used to be. Ryan is a liar. He knows that we slept together and I don't know why he's denying it. Rochelle, I made a huge mistake and I wish that I could take it back. Rochelle, I hope Ryan's not the father of Mackenzie. Regardless of the paternity test, Ryan is a no good cheating loser and you deserve better. Here's Deanna. Deanna, come on out. He says you didn't sleep together. My, I've, he I've heard what he said. Yeah. He's a liar. He's a liar. Oh, yeah. Why did you sleep with him? Just stupid. I see. Very stupid. And now he could be. And it's not like I don't feel sorry for it or I regret it every day. That's why I came out to her and told her it. But if he's going to sit there and lie about it, he ain't even a freaking man. Whatever. You have another possibility of, uh, of somebody being the father of your child. Yes, right? uh, my boyfriend, Derek. Oh. 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 At the time. He was my boyfriend. At the time. You're not. You're, and I can find people to be I think with Derek me. wants to be the father, doesn't yes, he? Yes, he does. And he's and always. And you want Derek to be yes, the father. Yes, he's animated, but he wants to be the father. All right. First, first we're going to do the lie detector, then we're going to do the paternity, right? Is that right? Yeah. Lie detector test first. We'll see this. Okay. Pathetic. We asked you, are you in love with. Mich Rochelle, you said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. We asked, you, we asked you when Rochelle goes into the hospital for surgery, do you have sexual intercourse with other women? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. We asked you, did you ever, we asked did you ever tell Deanna I'm going to leave Rochelle for her? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. And I knew that because I heard you say that. I heard you on we the phone talking to her. We asked you relationship with Rochelle. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with her cousin Deanna? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie more than three times. Uh, no, listen, listen. You don't even need to come back to my house to get your because what you got on, you'd be lucky you get to go with that. to come to any of this, but obviously he can't even be man enough to tell you what he did. I mean, why are you even deserve better than that? Yeah, but if you knew that, you shouldn't have slept with him. Yes, I know that. Two kids. We had two kids when them two slept together. We already had two. All right, we're going to have the paternity test right exactly. now. <laughs> when it comes to one-year-old Mackenzie, Derek, you are not the father. <laughs> when it comes to one-year-old Mackenzie, Ryan is not the father. <laughs> you, glad? you don't want either of them to be the father anyways. You don't want either of them to be the father, right? I just can't deal with who is the father then. And as far as you're concerned, Michelle, I would just go my own way. Right. He's a good dad. He's a really good dad to our kids. He's. You're not the father, Ryan. Ha! Don't okay. flip with no, me and lie. Kids, you nasty ass. She's come here to reveal a secret to her very own sister. I'm thinking about the answer for a year. Oh. And it gets worse. I'm three months pregnant. Is Rain the father? Is it possible to it? Does your boyfriend know about it? He doesn't know yet. What will happen when her sister and then her boyfriend what? find out this unbelievable secret? She thinks her childhood sweetheart has a double life. Where is he going? How do I get out of here? I told you, you that's what we can. Guests say their secrets have to come out today. Keeping secrets from your family is hard enough. 
What happens when your secret involves someone in your family? This is Takara. Takara is 20 years old. She has come here today to reveal two unbelievable secrets to her very own sister, Brittany. Now, before we hear these confessions, listen to Takara's story. My sister Brittany means a lot to me. She's my best friend. We do everything together, go out to eat, have girls time now, just everything. She's my best friend. She's my everything. I love her so much. I've been keeping a secret for a year, and it's really hurt me. I know these things are going to crush my sister, and I don't want to lose her because I love her more than anything. There's not a day that goes by that I wish I can take back to what I did. I'm praying today that the things I have to tell my sister that she'll still love me and forgive me and still be my big sister and still be there for me like I was there for her. How do you think this secret's going to affect her? It's going to really hurt her because we don't keep secrets from each other. We tell each other everything. We go through, like, a lot of stuff together. So tell me your first secret. My first secret is... Um, I've been sleeping with her fiancé for a year. Oh! Wait a second, Takara. You have a boyfriend? Yes. And you've been sleeping with her boyfriend, her fiance? Yes, sir. For a year? Yes, sir. Oh, I see. Well, his place. name is Raymond, and he's backstage too, and we're going to have him come out too. Tell the second secret. The other secret is that uh, I'm three months pregnant. <laughs> Is Raymond the father? It's a possibility that um, he's the father of my child. Oh. <laughs> father, your boyfriend could be the father. Yeah. By the way, does your boyfriend know about so you No, he doesn't know yet. Oh. <laughs> well, you're going to reveal your secret to your sister. Uh, but first, listen to how Brittany, your sister, feels about hearing a secret. Sakar, you're my little sister. And you know I love you with all my heart. It makes me sad that you feel as though you have to keep a secret from me. I'm ready to hear what you have to tell me. We sisters to her, we blood. And I don't think there's nothing that you could tell me that could tear us apart. Here, everybody. Brittany, come on out. Nice to see you. Good to see you, Brittany. Have a seat. Are you surprised? brought you here very surprised Aww. I just can't believe she had to bring me all the way here to just tell me a secret okay you want to tell your sister why you brought her here I really didn't want to keep a secret from because you know we tell each other everything but my first secret is that I've been sleeping away with Raymond for a year I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Takara. Why you have to bring me here? All right, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please. Tell her the rest of the secret. The other part of the secret that you know I'm pregnant, and I know that you'll be there for Oh, me. my God, Takara, don't tell me it's his baby. Please don't tell me that. Please, Takara. The baby might be Raymond. Oh, my God! We did it in y'all bed a couple of times. <laughs> Brittany, I'm, I'm Brittany, sorry. Brittany, sit down because because Raymond wants to apologize, and he's here. Brittany, please. So Raymond, me. come on out. Here's Raymond. <laughs> Baby, I'm sorry. No, move him away. Okay. Raymond, apologize to him. Brittany, I'm sorry, baby. You ain't got nothing to say, for real. I'm sorry. No, I mean you ain't got to say to me. You ain't got to say to me. Raymond. Well, I mean, at the house. At the house. That's 
Sorry, baby. No, no. Raymond. Who, who do you want to be with? I want to be with Brittany, sir. You want to be with Brittany? Yes, sir. Then why'd you get up with her sister? Oh, it just happened, man. No. How could he get happy? No, no. How could he get happy? Who did he tell? It don't just happen 20 times. 20 times? No, a mistake. 20 times? Everybody 20 times is not even one time. It's a mistake for 20 times. You got me. I'm not stupid. It's not 20 times. It's a mistake. Now, Brittany, you're not the only one who doesn't know. Guess who also doesn't know? Her, her boyfriend. He doesn't know. That's his cousin. And that's his cousin? <laughs> Jason found out less than 24 hours ago that Takar was keeping a secret from him. He didn't know anything about So he's going to come out here now and find out the truth. Here's Jason, everybody. Jason, you're kind of in shock, aren't you? Just a little bit. The car is very important to you? Yes, very important. You all going to have a child together? Yeah. Great. <laughs> You ever think that Takara would hold a secret from you? Never. We, we never, we always tell each other everything. Takara, tell Jason what's been going on. Well, I need to tell you that I've been having a affair with Brittany's fiance for a year. What? Oh! <laughs> no, don't, well, don't touch me. Tell him what else, Brittany. The second part of the secret that the baby might not be yours. Hey. Might be right. Oh! We ought to find out once this baby uh, is born whose it is, right? Right. Okay? So if you all come back, we'll do a paternity test and we'll tell you whether it's you or, or Raymond, okay? Is that all right? That's all right. Now, Raymond's your cousin. All right. Can you forgive him? I can forgive him. You, but not her. Not her. Wow. Well, that's funny because you know what Brittany said? Brittany said she, he, she could forgive you, but not Raymond. You can't, be, you can't be with her. I can't be with her. She Even if it's she, your child? If it's my child, I'll, I'll still be there for the child, but as far as me and her, I can't do it. No. It's not going to happen. All right. Brittany, is there any chance you'd take him back? I ain't going to. I, I can't. Like I, can't. I, I can't. I can't take him anymore. I can't. You're not? I'm not going to be with him because it should never happen 20 times. 20 times? You can't let that happen 20 times. Okay. She's about to tell the love of her life. She's been giving sexual favors to another man for money. And that man may be the father of their baby. Oh, man. Is you serious? You couldn't talk about this? I don't want to hurt your feeling. How do you think I feel now? Is Juan the father? She thinks her childhood sweetheart has a double life. Where is he going? Oh, how do I get out of here? You're not I, I, I told you this before we came. The results are in. You are the father. <laughs> this Father's Day, do something special for that man in their life. Show your appreciation for all the hard work and sacrifices that your father has made. Thank you, thank you. Enter to win a personal Father's Day message from me for that father who has everything. Happy Father's Day. These guests say their secrets have to come out today. This is Tanya. 10 years ago, Tanya fell in love with this man, Juan. Now, not only does Juan care for Tanya's son from a previous relationship, but the couple was overjoyed when just three weeks ago, Tanya gave birth to their first daughter, baby Cien. Now, Tanya's happiness has been overshadowed by a secret, one that is so dark, it threatens to destroy her family. Watch. My life has been so stressful since me and Juan met that I've made a lot of mistakes throughout the years of my life. I feel so guilty that I'm keeping a secret from Juan. Juan has not only been there for me for 10 years, he's been there for my son. He's raised my son like he's his own. I just had my one-month-old daughter, and she gets so happy when Juan walks in the room. She smiles at him. 
one. There's no point in man in my life. I don't want him to walk away when he hear whatever secret I have to tell him. So he was really excited, wasn't he? Yes. He had that baby. Is that his first child? Yes, my dad. It's his first child. His only child? Yes. So what do you think he's going to do about hearing this secret? I'm afraid he's going to leave. What's the secret? <laughs> the secret is that I've been cheating on him for four years. <laughs> How many men did you cheat on him with? I cheated on him with two men, Mark. <laughs> right before I got pregnant, I had with another oh, man. Oh, my time. Lord. So you don't know uh, whether he's the father? No, Mark, I don't. <laughs> I feel so bad why did, about it. If you feel this way about him, why did you do it? Because I wanted to, I wanted us to be together, Mark. I didn't want the financial problems that we were having to break us up. Oh, I see. So the fella that you were seeing for like four years or something like that, he was helping out? Yeah, we were. Ha we had an agreement that I would do sexual favors for him in return <coughs> for him to help me pay my bills. And then this other guy was what, a one-time? One one, yeah, it was one a one-time thing. He offered to pay me, and I offered to give him a sexual favor. And so let me ask you this. Is it right around the same time he, yes. you got pregnant, so it could be one of three men who's the father? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. And it just, it breaks my heart because I look at them together and it runs through my mind that she may not be here. Well, we'll see what happens. Because Juan has to hear this. Here's Juan, everybody. A great dad. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you very much for coming. Have a seat. But now you got to hear a secret. You ever watch my show? You watch my show. Yes, I do. So you know, you know that when we have secrets, very, very rarely are they good secrets. So, you want to turn to him? Tell him why you brought him here? I love you with all my heart and all my soul. I always have as as we have been together. And I just wanted to come and tell you that I've been cheating on you for four years. Come on, man, is you for real? Come on now. Not just with one guy, but with two men. We were having financial problems, and I needed money to help us. And I offered to do... Hold on, hold on, when, when was this? You talking about when I lost my job last year? Well, Longer than four that. years. It's been four years. So when did it start? Okay. Oh, hell. By the way, you're not seeing this guy still, are you? No. Tanya? No? Okay. Hold on, you said, you said more than one guy. Tell me more about that. Well, right before I got pregnant with Siani, I had sex with another guy, and it was a one-night stand. He offered to pay me, and I offered to do sexual favors for him. And... Here's the real big deal, Juan. You gotta listen to this. I wanted to tell you that it's a possibility that Siani may not be yours. Man, I ain't trying to hear that, huh? Is you serious? Come on, man. The whole nine months, you went to now to tell me that? Is you for real? Come on, man. Juan, Juan please sit down. Because there's one thing, there's one thing that we can do. We can do a DNA test and we can show you whether you're the father or not. You want that test done? Yeah, that's what's up. You've loved her a long time. Do you understand the reason why? The reason why she did this? She says there wasn't any emotion in this. It wasn't any feelings in this. It was to give you all a better life. Is that right? And I don't want to fight her battles. I don't want to fight Tanya's battles. But that's why she said she did it. You couldn't come to me? You, we couldn't talk about this? What, am I that hard to talk to? Seriously. No, I just didn't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> what you, how you think I feel now? I just want to let you know I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't mean for this to happen. My daughter, yo. My daughter. Now I don't even know. Is you? We're gonna know. Juan, we're gonna know. We're gonna know within 48 hours, okay? My daughter. I'm sorry. Yo. I can't believe this, man. A secret, though? We ain't better than that? 
She cheated on him for money. Is Juan the father? If I read that you are the father, things gonna be okay? Yeah. Juan. She thinks her childhood sweetheart has a double life. He's always running out of gas. Where is he going? You're not messing around in another town with No, of course I'm not. The lie detector determined. Oh! How do I get out of here? You're not the lie You are the father. Get off my stage. say their secrets have to come out today. This is Amanda. Amanda fell in love with Levi when she was 11 years old. I mean, really? 11? Amanda's devastated because after 11 years and a beautiful child named Dayton, their life together is beginning to fall apart. Amanda believes Levi is sleeping with other women and suspects he's even cheated in their own bedroom while she's at work. <laughs> and she also thinks that Levi is leading a secret double life and may have another girlfriend out of town. This is her story. I've been with my boyfriend Levi since we were 11 years old. We were childhood sweethearts. Just three months ago, things started changing, and I think he's living a double life. I check the mileage in the car every day, and it always changes 50, 60, 70 miles over. I think he's seeing another girl. I found earrings in the car, and they didn't belong to me. He's always running out of gas, and I'm always filling up the tank. Where is he going? I think he even has girls in my house while I'm at work. When I think about him cheating on me, I'm devastated. Levi is my best friend, and we have a beautiful baby together. He's all I have in this entire world. If he's cheating, everything I ever wanted will all be taken away. Since 11? Yes, Maury, since 11. I mean... He's my, my everything. He's my best friend. At 11, he was? Yes. How did you have these feelings so early in life? <laughs> because we spent a lot of time together. We was always together. We did everything together. We had a baby. I got pregnant when I was 15. And <laughs> he's... Is he, is he a good dad? He's a wonderful father. He does everything for his kids, everything. You found out about this like three months ago. Just the last three months, everything's been different. Why? It ain't because, Maury, he, I fill up the gas tank. The, he can't come get me from work because there's no gas in the car. I found earrings in the car. He comes home smelling like perfume, Maury. Girls call my phone at 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, and as soon as they hear my voice, they hang up. I go in there and wake him up and make him call back, Maury, yep. and they'll answer for him. But as soon as I call him, they want to hang up. So we gave Levi a lie detector test. This is what he had to say before the show. I've been with Amanda for 10 years. She's the love of my life. She gave birth to my child. And I'm here today to prove that I'm not cheating. And when this test proves that I'm not cheating, I want an apology from Amanda and for her to back off and give me my space. Whoa, here's Levi. Levi, come on out. Now, Levi, you're not messing around in another town with another woman, are you? No, of course I'm not. I mean, I don't know where she's she comes She's checking out. the mileage. I don't, I don't know where she comes over that. Why isn't there any in the gas tank? I mean, because gas you're cheating. is expensive. Because you're cheating. Gas is expensive. Because you're going to see the girl that calls your phone at 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. I walk in the house and the bedroom gas. smells like sex. He smells like perfume. And we're going to find out right now. We asked you, Levi, do you feel trapped in your relationship with Amanda? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! You are lying! You feel trapped? You feel trapped? You feel trapped? So of leave course, it. when you're accusing leave me of everything it. all the time. Why'd you left if I mean, you feel trapped? Why'd accusing? you left if you feel trapped? Because I love you, that's why. We asked you. You don't love me. If you love me, you wouldn't cheat on me. If you love me, you wouldn't be feeling trapped. <laughs> We asked you when you tell Amanda you're going out on the four-wheeler, are you really out cheating on her with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh. You can 
I asked home. you when the oh, man doesn't work. Leave. Do you use the car to go visit another girlfriend? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Here, man. No, one? Right here, man. You couldn't pass not one of them? You sit in the hotel room? And why, baby? Why won't you hold stop, me? Stop, stop, stop. Will she be able to leave her childhood sweetheart for good? No. <laughs> Sammy has no idea that Karen cheated with another man and got pregnant. But she has an even bigger secret. I just took my wedding money and got an abortion with it. Boring. The results are in. You are the father. <laughs> this Father's Day, do something special for that man in your life. Show your appreciation for all the hard work and sacrifices that your father has made. Thank you. Thank you. Enter to win a personal Father's Day message from me for that father who has everything. Happy Father's Day. Guests say their secrets have to come out today. Three years ago, my next guest, Karen, came on our show to reveal a devastating secret to her fiance, Sammy. A secret that she feared would rip their family apart forever. Now, before we find out the shocking reason why Karen and Sammy are back today, this was their first appearance. You love this woman, you love your child. Yes, sir, I that's do. A, that's a big deal you having a child, isn't it? Yes, sir. All these years, I was waiting for that. You want to tell him why you brought him here? I had an affair at the time we started, and Sammy Jr. might not be yours. What? You want a DNA test? Yes, sir. Sammy, you are the father. Yes! Now, believe it or not, Karen's back. And she needs to tell Sammy two more outrageous secrets. What's the first secret? After the show, the last time I was here, I had told, I gave him my word, I would never see this guy again. I've been cheating on him with the same guy. And I ended up pregnant. You ended up pregnant? By the other guy? Yeah. What did you do? I just took my wedding money and got an abortion with it. So the money that Sammy was saving yeah. for you all to get married. Yes, 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 yes. What do you think is going to happen now? I don't know. That's what I'm afraid of. I think this time, I think he's going to snap this time. I don't know. This is what Sammy had to say about hearing another secret from you. Karen, you broke my heart on the first show. I hope you're not going to break it a second what? time. I thought we started over. I thought we were the family. I thought you would never keep secrets from me anymore. You and our son mean a whole lot to me. And I hope your secret don't break us up again. All I want to do is marry you. I've been saving my money every day to give you the perfect wedding. If this secret destroys me, our wedding is off. I cannot marry a liar. Here's Sammy. Sammy, come on up. Nice to see you. Good to see you, sir. Nice to see you. Sammy, I just, I just saw a picture of your boy. Oh, How yeah. cute is he, huh? Yeah, Three years old. Yeah. Look at him. Look at that picture. Huh? Yeah. What's his name? Sammy Davis Jr. Sammy Davis Jr. You want to marry Karen, right? You've been saving up. Yeah, I've been saving money for, yeah. for a wedding. We wasn't getting married on my son's birthday next year. What happened when, what happened when you heard that she wanted to tell you a secret again? Uh, I, was, I was feeling kind of down, but I said, uh, she didn't supposed to keep no secrets from me or nothing, because that was her word. But Karen. I told her I'd come to the show and see what it is, 
but I hope it doesn't break our family apart, whatever the secret is. Karen, tell him. I'm hoping you feel in your heart to forgive me. And my first secret is, I've still been seeing the guy that was seeing last time we went to the show. Come on, man, no. And my second secret is, I used, I used our money for our wedding to get an abortion. Oh, come on. Please, no, no, no. Why would you do I, well, that to me? I went to work, Sam. I didn't mean I to hurt to you. Work, I went to work and get all of that money for me, you, I and know, Sammy. Sam, I know, Sam. I know. It's just a mistake. It's just a mistake. It's a mistake, Sam. It like won't that. happen no more. It Mistakes won't happen. Mistakes don't happen like that. It won't happen no more, Sam. This is important. You got it, Karen, you just can't end it. You got to know why you do it. And we'll fix you up back home with some counseling to be able to answer that question. Now the question comes, becomes with Sammy, are you going to be able to do it all over again, Sammy? Be able to forgive. Please forgive me. Forgive me, Sammy. I don't think so. Please forgive me. Please, please forgive me. Please. I might. I'm going to think about it. We got to work on this. Okay. Very, very hard. We got to work on it. Okay. <gasps> she cheated on him for money. Is Juan the father? Juan. Will she be able to leave her childhood sweetheart for good? No. <laughs> you are the father. Get off my stage. <laughs> These guests say their secrets have to come out today. Now, a week ago, Juan's world was shattered when his girlfriend of 10 years revealed a devastating secret. You see, Juan discovered that Tanya had cheated on him with two different men and that he might not be the father of their one-month-old daughter, Siani. Look at her. Now, we've given them all a paternity test and we're going to have the results, but first, it's been like a week, Juan. How do you feel? It's been rough, man. What does this result mean? <coughs> well, for me, it just, it just, for me, it means whether, do I have a daughter, don't I have a daughter? Cause Wait a I second. Can... You don't think you'll be a father to that child if you're not the father? <clears throat> oh, no, Maury. I have really? been down this road once with her already. So you think it'll be over between the two of you? I ain't gonna necessarily say it's over, but right now, I don't know, Maury. Anything you want to tell him, Tanya, before I, re I read the results? I want to start by saying I'm sorry. I made a mistake, and no matter what the results are, I still want you to forgive me and understand that I didn't do this intentionally to hurt you. If I read that you are the father, things gonna be okay? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's find out right now, Juan. All right. <laughs> Case of one month old, Siani. Juan, you are not. I want you to think about this. I want you to think about the fact that you've been there throughout this pregnancy, and you've been there with it for one month with this little girl. Man, she took me through hell the last nine months, man. Boy, you don't know for real. She's in a lot of pain, Juan. She's in a lot of pain. I am too. I know, I know, I understand that. You're both hurting real bad, all right? <laughs> both of you are hurting. All right. I ain't hurt nobody but my daughter. <laughs> I don't even know who she belonged to. <laughs> Will she be able to leave her childhood sweetheart for good? No. <laughs> Guests say their secrets have to come out today. Early, a lie detector proved to Amanda that the man she's loved since she was 11 years old has cheated on her. That was a lie. 
Backstage, Amanda begged him to come clean and admit the truth. I'm not gonna apologize though. Why? I, I do mean, everything. I know you do, and I love everything. you. But I didn't do nothing. If you love me, why do you feel trapped? I love you, and you do this to me. I don't know if I can forgive you. Forgive me for what? I didn't do nothing. Maybe I love you. I love people. We can work this out. It looks like these two are going to stay together as a couple. Until next time, America. Not the fuck.